Oh. <laughs> oh, give me a break. You have to throw this kind of manga into the Dr. Stone? I don't know what to think of this. This is comedy, but this is at the same time also a little bit obnoxious. What will happen, I don't know. Huh, it was a song about that. Jeff Bridges sang it. Well, either way, this is Dr. Stone chapter 39, and I am the angry May found the despair reviewer. The match are over, and well, let's just say it is not as we have expected it. In this chapter, it seems that the science team are all winning and celebrating everything well. And, however, then the Ginro says that, uh, uh, wonders, uh, Will you marry uh, Chrome if wins? However, she unfortunately says, I'm the priestess, so I'll marry anyone who uh, uh, who wins. Unfortunately, he misunderstands that, and he gets a little bit... <laughs> power hungry. So he begins to, well, being a little bit douche, that everyone admits that he cannot become the villagers. Um, uh... So, uh, Chrome just throws a glass towards uh, uh, Senku, who decides to do it for some science. Unfortunately, he decides to uh, use the... It's not the science of fire. He's, he's using the Suka mask together with some other, you know, of the blunt damages to cause a miniature ki kilometer slash slap right into Gindro's nuts and defeats him. I mean... <laughs> Gindro suddenly getting all power hungry and proclaiming he's gonna make ramen out of that. I mean, he's gonna eat ramen out of that. And the fact that all the townspeople yet decide, okay, we cannot allow someone like him win. Well... And the fact that he couldn't read behind the lines of Ruri. Well... That's just so comedy. <laughs> However, it's also a bit obnoxious. However, Suka, after this one, just says that she sees that the villagers uh, seems to be more united than ever. So she just thinks that uh, Ginro intentionally played a villain. However, we know for a fact that he didn't. So after Ginro showed some courage and I actually gave him a pass, here he showed his obnoxious side again. So I am just gonna say, okay, now I, I think it's official that Ginro is the friend nobody likes in the village. However, it played pretty well. Unfortunately, the ending is not uh, so very well. As soon as uh, it seems like all is gonna perfect plan, the other teams just suddenly realize that Chrome passed out, having used his last strength to throw the other things. Meaning that... Uh, <laughs> Senku wins on technicality. He is to become... <laughs> The new sheath of the Stone Age village. In one way, that is actually pretty good. I mean, he was to transform this king, this village into the kingdom of science. However, there is the amount of embarrassment that is going to happen in this one. Well, is pretty deep. Mostly because Chrome uh, uh, and Ruri had a, you know, had a will, so to speak, to get married. And now just suddenly Senku, who didn't even want to win, mind you, is the winner! <laughs> it is also the fact that uh, he sees love as a distraction, and marriage as a distraction. He's a scientist, not someone who's gonna marry. So yeah, it's understandably every single villager, including Senku, is freaking out. Well, <laughs> how was this all gonna be solved? No idea. Technically, now they can save Ruri. However, R Senku marrying Ruri... I don't think Chrome is gonna like that. Give me your thoughts if you have any.